But what is the difference uh, between discriminative models like traditional deep learning and generative models like, uh, say, ChatGBT? Imagine two characters, Sherlock Holmes and Picasso. Sherlock uh, stares at a crowded crime scene. Uh, footprints, a cigar ash, uh, turn paper and boils it down to one conclusion. The, the butler did it. That's classic uh, discriminative, uh, say, uh, AI. It narrows vast data to the most likely label, spam or not, dog or cat, approved or declined. Picasso uh, starts uh, with a tiny dump of paint and explodes outward into a full uh, mural, uh, into, into a field, say, mural, and generative AI behaves uh, like that. It, it takes a tiny seat, okay, maybe random digital uh, noise or a short text, uh, say, prompt, and grows it into a high-resolution image a brand new melody, or even a, a three-paragraph story. It doesn't just pick from old examples, okay? It imagines inside, uh, uh, say, inside a mathematical sandbox, okay, called a latent space. You'll uh, hear that term again, but for, uh, for now, think internal, uh, say, sketch path. How does generative model actually work? Under the hood, the model has, uh, we say, crunched millions of examples, images of faces, paragraphs of Shakespeare, others of jazz, and we say distilled their essence into a, a cloudy, high dimensional, <clears throat> uh, um, cloudy and high dimensional map. When uh, you drop uh, in a seat, uh, it's like placing a pin on that map, okay? The algorithm then walk outward, a painting or, vo or wording in details that uh, make sense according to everything it has learned. You might ask, isn't that copying? <clears throat> Great question. Legally and technically, it's uh, statistically uh, creating something fresh. It doesn't paste any single uh, training image pixel for pixel, but it can echo uh, overall uh, styles, uh, which, uh, which is why ethics and, and copyright uh, debates are uh, heating up. 